right, hello wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday, the 4th of September. We got another really busy week of drinking this week. We're starting out with a couple burgundy tastings at the edge tonight, then a Cafe Max tomorrow night, the very same wines, Deja Vu. Uh, usually I don't do that, but hey, I'm getting ready to leave on vacation, so I am a short timer here. We've got our big Argentina Chile Chilean tasting on Friday. We've just added like 10 more wines to that. There's going to be over 30 wines here on Friday night for 35 bucks, an incredible tasting. A lot of great stuff will be going down from South America. That finishes our studies uh, in Southern America. We did our two tastings from Chile and Argentina last month, and this will be the last big one uh, before the end of the year from South America. Check it out. All the contestants will be on our website. And then a week from tonight, we've got a cooking class at Cafe Max. What's going on? Usually the cooking classes are Thursday night. How come it's on a Tuesday? Well. A week from, well, Thursday night, this week, is our big pairings event. We've got 40 different restaurants, over 70 wines if you include the VIP, and uh, we're going to have 1,000 people there. I'll be in Rome. I won't be there this evening. But the rest of the guys will be here, and we'll have uh, a lot of great food and wine will go down that evening. But that's why we've moved our cooking class to a week from tonight. And this seafood cooking class has already got 30 people signed up for it. What's going on? We had a couple light showings, but hey, Oliver does a great job. This is one of the best values in any event that we do at Cafe Max, $65. You get to eat a five-course meal. You get to watch Chef Oliver Saucy and Danielle, Chef Danielle make the food right there in front of you, and then you get to sample four wines that we pick out for you here. Are you kidding me? We've got four great wines. The idea behind this tasting is not to drink the first wine with the first course and the second wine with the second course. This is not a wine dinner pairing menu like we'll have the Alta Vista dinner a week from tomorrow night at Cafe Max, another winery from Argentina. We also, uh, this event is more, we give you two different whites, two different reds uh, stylistically and you have a little bit with each of the courses to see, well, you know, you learn a lot about food and wine pairing by getting a bad match sometimes. and. Petit Verdot is not something I would normally pick out to go with seafood. Petit Verdot, uh, it's got a lot of tannin and, uh, well, it's a Bordeaux varietal. Not something you think light and refreshing, but this wine is refreshing. It's from a cooler climate, so you I might be surprised. One of these wine, uh, food courses might go fantastic with Petit Verdot, but you'd never know until you try it. And we've got a Tokai and a Petit Verdot. Tokai Furlano from Gin Clendenin, the mine behind Oban Clamont Winery. Some fabulous wines. One of the founding fathers of viticulture in the Santa Barbara area. And uh, he has been around like 30 years or longer. And this is the vineyards that he planted himself. He buys a lot of fruit for his Oban Clamont label under Jim Clendenin, uh, Clendenin Family Vineyards, rather. Tokai Guy Frilano, great from northern Italy. He feels this cool climate uh, in this part of Santa Maria Valley does great with this. And then Petit Verdot, a board over idle. Didn't they pull most of that up from Southern California? Yes, they did, Jim. But uh, he, he is a, a very knowledgeable guy. He feels this is the best board over idle for this climate. Two wonderful wines. And then the Buena Vista Pinot Noir. Uh, Carneros, another cool climate uh, for a cool grape Pinot Noir. This wine's got lovely freshness. And one of the few red grapes that does go well with seafood dishes because it's low in tannin. And then we've got a Sauvignon Blanc. Of course, everybody loves that clean, refreshing taste of Salvian Blanc with seafood. This one's from Veramonte from Chile. Uh, very good stuff. Check it out. Everything will be serving you at the cooking class next Tuesday, not a week from tonight. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.